My name is Charles. Uh, I'm a co-founder and uh, CEO of Memverge. Uh, we have been developing big memory software that intend to make memory bigger, faster, and also to improve the inter-process communication across many servers. And what I'm going to introduce in is a shared memory SDK that can help accelerate uh, workload on top of Ray across multiple servers. So the problem we're trying to solve is when the data needs to move between different processes. And when uh, these processes are on the same node, it is easy. There are many IPC mechanisms within the same node. But when they need to travel between different nodes, I.O. is incurred. And there are many copies. There are serialization, deserialization. And in the case when you need to use network storage, the storage media speed also slow down the application. So whenever the application needs to move from a single node to multiple nodes, it inevitably slow down because of the bottleneck imposed by I.O. And there was really not good solution to this until the emergence of a new standard called CXL. Uh, CXL stands for uh, Compute Express Link. It's a new memory protocol that runs on PCIe Gen 5 uh, that allows a memory to be extended beyond the DDR memory that's plugged into the DIMM slots. It can be added within a server. It can also be available as a uh, memory appliance that's connected to multiple servers. So what this allows multiple nodes to do is different processes can access the same memory with the low store mechanism that memory supports very, with very low latency and very high bandwidth without going through the network and allow data to be shared across multiple servers. And what we did is we developed a new software layer we called Gizmo. And Gizmo stands for a global I.O. free shared memory object. It presents an object storage-like API, but those objects will be memory mapped uh, and, and accessible from your applications. And we would coordinate among the different nodes and making sure the access are consistent, correct, and cache coherent. And we, um, we pr present a very simple API where you can connect to our Gizmo server and start to be able to write and read uh, to the Gizmo store. And the key difference here from uh, what Ray already includes, and Ray has a great architecture. It has a shared memory object store within. However, it's only very fast when the object is placed locally. If the object is on another server, what Ray did underneath is it needs to transport that object from the other node to the local node to make the local copy before you can access it. Uh, and with our solution, you do not need to do that copying. And you do not need to incur the serialization and deserialization because of network I.O. But instead, you can directly create those objects and allow those objects to be accessed anywhere. And we can ensure the consistency behind the scenes. And so this is the, um, really the improvement we can add to the, uh, to the Ray uh, system. And so now I'm going to show a live uh, a demo in a video. Uh, and, and this is uh, uh, essentially running a full node uh, Ray. Each of them have four CPUs. And we're going to show the baseline. Uh, of, uh, uh, of this uh, running a shuffle benchmark uh, on this four node Ray. And we're going to show them with our Gizmo integrated with Ray and how does the performance compare. Over the last few months, we collaborated with the Ray community and with the AnyScale team to do the integration and to be able to validate the performance improvement that a cross node shared memory can present. So here is the, uh, the demo. The text is a little small, so I'm going to try to read them out. So first, we, let's see how many nodes are here. And this is running the baseline. We have uh, four nodes, each of them with 16 gigabyte of uh, memory. And we're going to run a shuffle benchmark with about 20 gigabytes to be shuffled across these four nodes. And this is using the original array with its built-in uh, in-memory object store. And uh, as you see, it's taking a little while for these shuffle jobs uh, to complete. And let's give it a few more seconds. And as you can see here, it took about 57 seconds 
uh, for this benchmark uh, to complete. Now let's uh, uh, take a look at uh, uh, Gizmo. Now with Gizmo integrated into Ray, again, the same four nodes. Now they are connected to the shared memory. So the shuffle can happen over the shared memory. And it's the same 20 gigabyte data sites. And you can see that setup time is about the same, but running time becomes much faster. Uh, so the difference here, the new time is about 30 seconds, including the initial setup time. So it's about half the time is spent uh, using Gizmo. If you take out the set setup time, the improvement is actually even more. So just to show more complete results that we were able to achieve by integrating uh, Gizmo into Ray, uh, to getting a local object, uh, one gigabyte object, compared to baseline and uh, Gizmo, it's the same, which is a great result because here the objects are placed in a shared memory instead of local memory, but it actually has no performance degradation. And when the object is placed on a remote node, it's about seven times faster. Instead of uh, you know, 2.7 seconds, we are also having the same speed as, as you're accessing a local object. And the next line is the demo we have shown, a shuffling 20 gig gigabytes obj uh, object uh, that we, we were able to achieve about half the, the time. And then to shuffle a bigger object, the improvement is even more. We can have 2.8 times faster performance. And, and these benefits are because of the following reasons. Number one, because of uh, uh, Gizmo is using shared memory access, it's not doing the network I.O. It's not doing the serialization, deserialization. Therefore, the transport is much faster. There will be much less copies um, that you don't need to copy from A to B and all the intermediate copies you need to go, go through the stack. And also, it's a much more efficient use of the memory. Um, you know, before, when you have a distributed uh, in-memory store, you can have multiple copies of your object because of the different objects are all accessing it. So you multiply the usage of memory. Now you only need to have one copy for all of the nodes. Therefore, you get more bang for the buck. And it's less likely for you to run out of memory and spill to disk. Therefore, the speed is much faster. And as we mentioned, we are working with the AnyScale team and with the Ray community. We just submitted an uh, enhancement a proposal uh, to incorporate a pluggable object store into the Ray architecture so that Gizmo or other object store can be plugged in very easily. And you can see the details of this uh, enhancement proposal uh, from this link. And we have uh, uh, other improvement coming as well, offering a bigger memory to the Ray firm framework. In addition to the shared memory, where we can improve the internode communication, that we can have endless memory that can dynamically add more memory capacity to your node. So even when you have data skew situations, you do not run out of memory and run into those OOM uh, errors. And we can also dynamically scale the memory bandwidth that's often a bottleneck for various uh, AI uh, workload. So uh, if you have more questions, email us at gizmo and um, And uh, we also have a booth here over there. So we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much.